Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about, uh, again, about something I have heard people say, and I can actually kind of I feel like as though, of course, I would never know, feel like what was going on when somebody decided that that was the correct term for it when it's not. It is not. Okay, and that is what the term that I've heard them use is uh, word salad. Okay, and I, anytime I would hear that, I'm like, what? That's not what word salad means. Now, what I have known, heard, as a, uh, my degrees are in psychology and sociology, and I worked with elderly people with cognitive um, impairments. And 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 okay i'm gonna say there's more but word salad is when the sentence say one sentence does not make any sense at all and the words in that sentence seem like they are so i want to say disjointed there's there's just random words you know with no real structure okay and uh so so the sentence does not make any sense random words no structure no real structure. Because that's what people are using for when what I have seen when they say that um, is it's not word salad. It's double talk. Okay, if you want to use a slang or, or all around, it's a double talk. And what I have experienced in my 60 years, 60, of hearing people do this double talk BS is, is if they're using full sentences, they sometimes seem a little bit, what was it I called uh, recently? Okay, yeah, recent, it's raining, by the way. But um, it's like I had called a nurse, my um, past nurse, uh, nurse's office, and, and, I was calling back, actually, or they were calling me, or whatever was the situation. And I, I asked the young MA uh, medical assistant, I said, uh, well, what did you write on that note that you gave to the nurse? And I said, can you read it back to me? And this was from the time before I'd spoken to her. And she said stuff that was like, like she had taken five books, spread them out in front of her. I don't know why I said five, but it was five sentences at the time. And, uh, she opened them all up to the first page, first chapter. None of the books had anything to do with anything medical. None of the books had anything to do with one another. And she read the first sentence out of each one. And I was saying that was a kind of like a, a paragraph of uh, salad, although paragraphs are usually three sentences. But uh, anyway, but you see, that none of it made any sense. It was did not apply to what I what I had told her, it was not what I had told her at all, and, uh, and it had nothing to do with medical. So if anybody was taking a message from somebody uh, to give to a nurse that about something health, it shouldn't make sense. It should be about medical. She, I don't know. I really, really had questions about her. Yeah. And yeah, working in a doctor's office and all. But um, anyway... I mean, that's not healthy for anybody, really. That would not be healthy. So that, um, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what was her problem, really, seriously. I just had major questions, and I eventually got to speak to the nurse practitioner who's, who was forgetting things. So it was a kind of bit of a mess. Okay, now, so, let me, let me get back to this, hold on. Okay, by the way, that is rain. I have made complaints before about how I would hear uh, water dripping before in other videos. Over the years I've had this SUV. Still don't know what it is. But this is rain, the sound. So I, I had walked out the door. I told Adam I was going to go to the park, which is where I usually do videos. And as soon as I uh, locked the door, all of a sudden I heard the thunder. So, yeah, I didn't go down to the park. Anyway, now where was I with all this? Um, talk, speaking of forgetting things, <laughs> if I get disrupted right in the middle of it, I'm going to have to go, where was I? Interrupted. Why did I say disrupted? 
interrupted. Oh my goodness, now I'm showing myself. No, I've been sick for a month now in the hospital ER three times, so I'm giving myself an excuse for all this. I'm tired, I'm exhausted all the time. I sleep most of the day, even sleeping at night now. Amazing, I was an insomniac, but sleep also during the day, exhausted. It's been, a it's been awful. I'll tell you the truth, it's been awful. Anyway. Okay. But this word salad has, I can use my experience with the past month or so, give or take, with all the things going on around it and everything, including just, just everything that would go around it, um, was that of, of people doing the double talk. Okay, double talking. Not word salad, double talking. And, uh, and it seems to be the same thing that some of the, like I had said, the, some of the things that these people are describing when they're saying that, you know, that they're not, none of it's making sense. Well, another term for it is gibberish. Okay. And uh, it just sounds like gibberish. But they are actually making sentences that make sense. It's just that they are doing it in a way to, uh, I think it includes some deflection. Well, it is. Okay, but the sentences are meant, purpose is meant to sound like they're saying a whole bunch of things. Like they're really telling you what you were asking and they're really answering it. But they're really not. They're skirting it. Okay, and they they don't want to commit to an answer because probably, possibly, allegedly, they, um, <laughs> they're about to... Uh, yeah, to tell you that they were lying. <laughs> or they really don't want to tell you what it is because they're somehow going to use that. Oh, so many reasons they could be doing this. But my experience with it being in the ER three times is that they were doing this to me. Each one, each different set, never really saw the same person twice out of those three times except for the the triage and the guy two one of the men in the front, he remember, he was really nice to me. I mean, seriously nice. Oh, my age. Seriously nice. But anyway, um, the other ones, they were just doing a lot of uh, double talk. And I left there with, it wasn't the third time, until the third time, that one of them, it was a PA, she mentioned that it was a sixth. Okay, imagine I'd already been to the ER twice. I'd already sp uh, spoken to my own doctor two or three times. And they're finally saying something that it's a cyst. Well, that, well, I got confused at first because they were saying it was a, um, it was another, another thing similar to it, and uh, not similar to it, but uh, abscess. Okay, <laughs> which it was. It was a cyst that was abscess. Yeah, but they said abscess, and that was all that they would say. Okay, until the third time they said it, the PA said that it was a cyst. Wow, that, that, that does uh, sound like, oof. But anyway, but I had to put the pieces of the puzzle together from the beginning. Okay, spanning over uh, this month. And still don't know all of it. So that was, you know, gibberish. I wonder if that's the same term as jibber-jabber also. All these words are starting to hit my brain. You know, that you can use this word, you can use that word, you know. That's how I simplify things as it is. There's so many different words that you can use for these things, but no, this double talk, BS. You know, the, um, there's more and more. Hold on a second. Okay, still have that problem with having to cough and everything. You know, I have allergies, but there's also one day after I got put on this other medication for blood pressure, two different ones. And Adam had asked me, he said, do you take, you know, after I was having this problem with constantly having to cough on a regular basis, not like a cold or anything like that, but like, um, you know, like when I have my, al when I have an allergy attack. And he said, my mom did that. And everybody picked on her. I said, why would y'all pick on your mom? <laughs> you know? I became like, you don't pick on moms, got it? You know, but they, he said all of, you know, he and his siblings picked on their mom because she would cough all the time, but it was a med, and she would say that it was a medication. And I told him, he said, that's the one. Okay. But I, I jumped on him. <laughs> Why would you pick on your mom? Didn't really jump on him. I just, 
Anyways, that's just not, that's all kinds of wrong. Period. And I really didn't care too much for his mom, but I don't speak ill of the dead. So strike that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I had to pause for that. But back to this gibberish that people do. And my, my experience in the hospital, really, it was, of course it's not healthy to not know what's going on with me and why can I, how do I stop it? What do I, they wouldn't, they never explained it. And I asked over these three times, you bet I asked more than once and even told them things like, hey, you need to do something about this, <laughs> you know, in a different, in a, and I'm going to use a, a gibberish kind of way, but no, I, I explained to them, you know, just crickets, a lot of crickets. I'd hear a lot of crickets and double talk. Okay. But, um, that, that's not, that was not a good experience. And, and then and while that was all happening, you know, at some point during all that, I was thinking, that's what the people are, you know, I hear using this whole thing about word salad, and they were using it incorrectly. And I could just imagine, like I was starting off this with, imagine somebody sitting there and say, you know, had heard the term somehow, some way, about something, you know, and said, word salad, yeah, that would make it, that would sound right. No. It didn't stop to look it up, and the next thing you know, it was growing like weeds, because you know how anything, a lot of people, a lot of people, that whole mantra mentality, or whatever is the coolest, is the newest, is the whatever, they're going to pick it up and use it, and it's just going to, you know, spread like weeds, like I said. Okay, I think I've said enough. I'm, I'm tired, I have to get tired pretty fast. I think I'm, I'm slowly having to... Uh, build up some uh, stamina now uh, but it was a lot of, it, it was more you know because even I say what little I've pieced together with all this that's gone on I'm, I'm going to tell you that they never have told me if it's very serious or not and going just the mental stress of all this which I've, I've felt kind of like so like I said you know exhausted there's a level of fatigue fatigue with it and so I'm not getting that really high emotion but I'm just it's because it's so I'm so tired you know fatigue feeling that exhaustion yeah but I get exhausted I get tired quickly you know like if I try to do something like yesterday I went to the grocery store oh my <laughs> I was there for a while because I usually I had actually had something happen before all this and I had to build up stamina again, and it, you know, until I was able to do at least two hours, and then come home feel good. I was just walking around the grocery store, taking pictures and videos and stuff, <laughs> buying groceries, then realizing, oh wow, I bought a whole bunch of groceries. <laughs> that happened once, but uh, you know, just doing things like that to keep myself. To, you know, I used to joke that um, shopping is my exercise. Well, shopping was a lot of my exercise. And still is, but right now I did it like yesterday. And I was like, hmm. Came home and I said, might not have been the best idea. But I had no instructions, and I asked, what can I do and can I do? Can and can't I do? Crickets, double talk, BS. Okay, maybe BS isn't the right word, right term, but an acronym. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's just made me feel, you know, like, um, yeah, like I said, exhausted. So I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I hadn't thought about, I was going to add something more to it, but, oh, some of my videos are not in order. So if it sounds like, um, well, didn't you just say you, you only been twice to the, to the, uh, ER? Yes, because they're out of order. If they're, you know, it's been three times. Anyway, I'll talk to you on the video. Bye.